This video will share the major changes created by the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, or WIOA. The Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, WIOA, is a federal law that governs basic education for adults, or Title II, as it is called in the Act. WIOA assists job seekers with assessing employment, education, training, and support services they need to meet employers' requirements and succeed in the labor market. WIOA is one of the most comprehensive and important skills and workforce development bills that has been passed by bipartisan support in Congress. WIOA requires each state to develop a state plan, describing strategic and operational elements across all of its four titles. Title I, Adult Dislocated Worker and Youth Programs Administrated by Department of Labor, DOL. Title II, Adult Education and Family Literacy Act, AEFLA Program, administered by Education Department, ED. Title III Employment Service Program, under the Wagner-Pizer Act, administered by DOL. And Title IV Vocational Rehabilitation, VR Program, under the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, administered by Education Department, ED. The law, which replaced the Workforce Investment Act, WIA, authorized in 1998, came into effect on July 1, 2015, and will be effective through 2020 with the possibility of extension unless a reauthorized bill is passed. Purpose of Title II of the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act is to create a partnership among the federal government, states, and localities to provide on a voluntary basis adult education and literacy activities in order to assist adults to become literate and obtain knowledge and skills necessary for employment and economic self-sufficiency, assist adults who are parents or family members to obtain education and skills that are necessary to becoming full partners in the educational development of their children and lead to sustainable improvements in the economic opportunities for their family, assist adults in attaining a secondary school diploma and in the transition to post-secondary education and training, including through career pathways, and assist immigrants and other individuals who are English language learners in improving their reading, writing, speaking, and comprehension skills in English and mathematics skills, acquiring an understanding of the American system of government, individual freedom, and the responsibilities of citizenship. Undoubtedly, the most significant change under the WIOA is the new definition of adult education, where in the past, basic skills was defined as providing life skills, is now defined as academic instruction and educational services below the post-secondary level that increases an individual's reading, writing, speaking, listening, mathematics, English acquisition, technology, and employment skills in order to earn a high school diploma or its equivalent, and to transition to post-secondary education and training, and to obtain living wage employment. In addition to the new definition under WIOA, the major guiding changes for basic education or Title II, as it's called in the Act, require the development and implementation of effective and accessible college and career pathways. Washington State's WIOA state plan requires every basic skill student to be on a dedicated pathway to a living wage job. It aligns basic skills instruction to K-12 standards. We can no longer get students to 10th grade competencies but must provide them with the skills to be college-ready, mirroring developmental education. It requires employability skills, or what you might think of as soft skills, to be taught in every class at every level. It supports IBEST, or what the Act calls Integrated Education and Training, or IET. The law defines IET as integrated, co-enrolled basic education and workforce training programs that accelerate the transition to post-secondary certificates and degrees for both adult basic education, ABE, and English language acquisition, ELA students. In Washington state, that is almost often IBEST, which the feds describe as the gold standard. It requires math, reading, listening, and speaking strategies be taught at all levels for both ABE and ELA. New for ABE are listening and speaking and for ELA math. It expands provision for technology and requires educators to ensure that students can solve problems in technology-rich environments and 
supports one-stop centers with in-kind support services or funding. The slide details what has changed from WIA to WIOA, in addition to the new definition discussed earlier in the presentation under WIOA. English literacy changes to just literacy to include ABE. This now requires instruction in speaking and listening for ABE students. English language acquisition is added to describe programming for what used to be called ESL in WIA. The law replaces the term EL Civics with Integrated English and Civics Education, or IELCE, as which mirrors IET, but also requires Integrated Civics Education. It adds workforce preparation activities or employability soft skills to required activities, and the law adds Integrated Education and Training, or IET, in Washington State that is most often IBEST, which the feds refer to as the gold standard for IET programming. In WIOA, there are no individual performance measures, only one set of performance measures for all core programs, including Title II Basic Education for Adults. WIOA establishes performance accountability indicators and performance reporting requirements to assess the effectiveness of states and local areas in achieving positive outcomes for individuals served by the Workforce Development System's six core programs. The single set of metrics includes the percent of program participants who are in up-subsidized employment during second quarter after exit, the percent of program participants who are in up-subsidized employment during fourth quarter after exit, the median earnings of participants who are in up-subsidized employment during second quarter after exit. The percent of participants who obtain a recognized post-secondary credential or a secondary diploma or its recognized equivalent during participation in or within one year of exit. The percent of participants who during the program year are in education or training that leads to a recognized post-secondary credential or employment and who are achieving measurable skill gains towards such a credential or employment, and the indicators of effectiveness in serving employers. Please explore the additional resources available in the resources section of this Canvas module for more information on WIOA. Of particular relevance to this video are the following documents. Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, OCTA Adult Education and Literacy, National Skills Coalition, Side-by-Side -side Comparison, WIA to WIOA, Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act Performance Indicators and Measures, BETA WIOA Title II State Plan, 2020-2023, Adult Education Four-Year Plan.